my name is Becca, and today we are back playing Night in the Woods. Aled, we left off. We spoke to God or something, fell into a hole, and uh, and our friends came out the other side. Maybe we had some vision or something. But uh, but here we are. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No. I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's a light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Crazy. Uh oh, I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. Oh, <gasps> this connects to our house. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. This is connected to our house. For sure. Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I, I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. <laughs> like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins. No, like when your body is like, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're built with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused right now. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you. Those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. This goes to our house. I am betting you a billion bucks. This music? Oh my gosh, this is amazing! I bet this is the end! We just started, but it's okay! This is our house! This is my house! <gasps> it's the well from our dreams! Mom. This place... Huh. Hey, Bay. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You, you're at the bottom of the old well by backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that a oh, gerb? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What's he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, gerb. You need the sugar and the caffeine. Uh oh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you like, I don't know, seal up this well? Huh. I, I died by it. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, that's small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. I don't know. Like, it's hard. It's hard to do the difference between Greg and Gerb. Thanks, buddy. Uh, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean... The elevator is broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess. 
who did cause the deaths of at least a dozen guys. <laughs> no, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So, we're worrying about, like... It's Marley Gray? We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Yeah, they're murdering people. Uh, what? They like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it. If we keep walking... What trolley thing? Did she talk about a trolley thing? And I was not paying attention? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe! Hey guys! Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the heck even just happened. Easy for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught- oh my gosh, I have so many feelings. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked to all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen. But I guess you can, like, connect things. Or connect two things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you, it kept me from floating off tonight. So you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to just be part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant. And pick you all up. And carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ. Germ, buddy. Germ. You didn't even use Messenger. He's not just typing at you wherever you're at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if, I, if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your butt into the ground. He was mine first. Yep. There it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all that. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Guys, I'm just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. <laughs> Log off. Aww. Good morning? That's the morning sound? Good morning. Changing up the seasons! <gasps> Good morning! It's a new day! A new day has dawned indeed! A new day! Let's see what all our friends have said to us. Oh, I'm super sweaty, you guys. Just, just that I would let you guys know. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork, lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. I love the name Greg. Oh, it's good to be alive that this morning. That is all. <laughs> Weather service, snow with the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? <laughs> no, we're never ready for what's coming our way, apparently, in this game. What's a mysterious tooth have to do with anything? I don't know. Maybe it's just like a nice little thing. Epilogue! Oh my gosh, you guys! I'll let this one be a longer episode because I think we're pretty much almost done with it. And uh, it'd be a shame to uh, just cut it off. God, it's us. It's just 
us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not going to cry today. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. Does this mean anything in here? Ugh. What was the point of the creepy tooth? Was there no point? Okay. That's okay. Let's go talk to the bird. I bet we have some nice things to say about the bird. Oh, you guys! We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. Of course. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Oh, yeah. Let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937, Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre, an, influ an influence on much of the 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Uh, always? Always, Mom. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you are still my baby. Aw, oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I really took your mom. I don't even know if I can tell you. I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is. Just please, tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Oh, I love breakfast for dinner. Dad can put the pancakes in the air. <laughs> for sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Are you still reading the same book? Oh, no. This is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh. Cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far from here the ocean's roaring, far away across the dean, I hear the Lord a call their children, bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking through the valley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a call their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Oh my gosh, it's still going. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. Why is she singing in a weird British accent? That's okay. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in. Bring them in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. <laughs> cool. When reading songs and books, do you guys make up tunes to go with them? Because that's definitely what I do. <laughs> Whoops. <gasps> Dad! Hey, Dad. No work today? 
I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> That's exactly the type of joke my dad would make. Aw. My parents are out of town. I miss them so much. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Oh, Dad. Why? I've mined. I've made glass. I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. The boss is supposed to respect you. Work is supposed to be able to talk. Work is supposed to be able to have a life. Work is supposed to be able to live. Oh, preach it! Your mom always had to work, but I want to give you and her your time. I want her to have hobbies. I had enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than we can get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here... Listen, I'm gonna be around tonight for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we can make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some... stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff too? Just one big, uh, stuff session. That sounds great, kitten. <laughs> I love that her nickname is Kitten! Yeah, she's literally a kitten. Love you, Dad. Love you too. Be back later. What are you doing out here, by the way? Maybe this will take a long time. I'm thinking this is gonna take a long time. Even though I said it was gonna be one long episode, I'm gonna talk to everybody and that's gonna take a really long time. Oh, and there's band practice? Nah, dude, we're gonna have to cut it today. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry for faking you out there, but I'm just putting pieces together in my mind. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, let me know that you did. And if you really enjoyed it, then you are more than welcome to subscribe. I post new videos every Monday through Saturday. So there's always new stuff for you to stop by and check out. And I hope you guys are having a super great day. And that you continue to have a super great rest of your day. And I hope you get to treat yourself to breakfast for dinner because it's the bomb. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Bye!